Yeah, yeah. Let's see you just flex TV. You know, see them are watching a 4K and a 3D. You know it good, you know. Girl, I watch you like cinema. Say she won't get a kid in your ass. Yes, so blessings, blessings, my people, blessings each and every one. Just a check in, you know. Come for give you guys some updates. Hope everybody being blessed here, blessed as are. We are first time over the Just Blex TV. Just press the subscribe button for free, notification bell. All you not even have to make a call. Well, peeps, today are Saturday. Hope you guys enjoying, you know, the weekend so far. But anyway, peeps, look at the screen. This is Marcia Oni. Uh, you don't know the world measurement. So Mars is located, you know, in a St. James. So anybody right now want no honey, you know, and also gas, you can just reach out to Marcy. So that number here will be one eight seven six five three eight eight five five two. 8552 Right, my people? Yes, yeah, so anybody live around St. James side, you don't know you want to know honey, molasses or no gas, just reach out to Marcy. But anyway, people, like up a video before we kick start. We're gonna move over to where Chevron Richards, otherwise called Black's Age 30. Yes, my people, Jesse B, construction worker of 21 Reef Avenue, Arbor View, Kingston 17 St. Andrew, reported missing about 2.15 a.m. Yes, my people, yesterday. So I've seen just contact, uh, you know, the nearest police station. Our Arbor View Police Station. But Jassy B, hope the best. So peeps, mother, mother three, missing three years now. So mother three, Twisha Eran has been missing for three years now. And there have been no leads to help solve the mystery. Eran, who is from the Bugs Bunny District in Lilliput, Montego Bay, St. James, went missing on Friday, June 25, 2021. So it's believed that she was kidnapped by the same set of individuals responsible for disappearance of other females who went to St. James, believing they were going to job interviews. The only difference is that Eran never left home to do an interview. She went to downtown Montego Bay to collect money at an ATM then called sometime after 8 a.m. that morning to inform her children that she was going to Mandeville for a job interview. The news was strange as she never left with additional clothes for an interview and notified anyone before that she had interview in Mandeville. Right my people? Just be the serious. Serious as a judge. You know? So her last conversation was with her eldest child sometime after 9 a.m. The morning she went missing. This was after her daughter became suspicious and said she was going to call the police if she didn't hear from her. Then 22-year-old daughter called the police and wasn't pleased with how the police had handled the situation. They haven't been pleased with how the police handled this missing case overall since she went missing. Right? Just see me, we just hope the best. Some female missing from 2001, 2021. Boy, peeps, just see me hard, you know, when you have, you know, certain people you're close to, and I'm just missing without a chase. Cha cha, it's sad, you know. We don't live their life there yet, you know, but just I say, just imagine, you know, your mother, your sister, you know, your auntie, your cousin. Uh, your best friend that uh, you know somebody close to you but anyway we just hope the best see me and thing now give up hope so peeps boy left at home after school refuses entry so while most students in the 112 public schools in Clarendon reunited with friends and met new classmates on Monday, one 11-year-old student was forced to stay home with no school to attend. That's because the boy former school, Watson Ton Primary, refused to take him back although he was not suspended or expelled. Details, you know. Just see be long like from Yasuga and we are on our chain line. But anyway, people, just see be, you can get the full video on TVJ. You know, so curfew imposed in Lawrence Tavern, St. Andrew. Yes, so the boundaries of the curfew are north from the King Western Infant and Primary School along King Western Road, 
with an imaginary line to the border of St. Andrew and St. Mary, east from the intersection of Florence Hill and Temple Hall Main Road, with an imaginary line to the intersection of King Western and Florence Hill Main Road, south from the border of St. Andrew and St. Mary to the intersection of Florence Hill and Temple Hall Main Road, west from the King Western and Florence Hill Main Road, along with King Western Road to King Western Infant and Primary School. Right, my people? And that's you know all round that side set right now right so those are the boundaries and thing yes so be careful on that side you know because Lawrence Tavern mean you know see them <laughs> murder a female you know couple days back that looks sad but anyway my people I gonna move over now to where Florida woman claims she was at her wit's end when she killed Jamaican husband so a woman charged with the murder of her husband reportedly told police she was at her wit's end over infidelity issues when she committed the crime. According to reports, 45-year-old Dennis Malcolm shot and killed her Jamaican husband, 52-year-old Rowan, on Saturday, August 31, at their Coral Springs, Florida home, which they shared with their children. Right, my people, just see me. I just said it's serious. To get more on that, still, I can just go over to Jamaica Observer. You don't know, I just skip and go through because that's what I have to do. Yeah, my people, so that's what I want, what I want. You know, this is, you know, just see me, the wife. You know? Yes, sir, take it to our next level. But anyway, my people, I move over now to where second man charging connection with St. Catherine mass shooting. The police have charged another man in connection with the mass shooting at a wake in Back Pasture, Kojo Hill, St. Catherine last month. The update came at a press briefing on Friday, as you all hear in this report, you know, just CB. So, peeps, the search still continues for other men involved. Right? Yes, because this was at Christopher Martin grandma's wake. Just to be coming like an earthquake. So airport tragedy, family questions, slow response by medical team, no ambulance. So questions are being asked about the responsiveness of local authorities to health emergencies at the nation's port of entry in particular airports. The concerns came after an elder man died this week after collapsing at Sangster International Airport in Montego Bay, St. James, as you will hear in this report, his loved ones feel his life may have been saved if the authorities did act more quickly. Right? And this is the deceased right now you're looking at. So, peeps, we're going over again to where man killed was on bail for shooting death of a teen four years ago. Right, my people? Just CB, good over evil. So police say the man who was killed at the gate of a school here on Friday was on bail, having been charged with murder in the shooting death of a 14-year-old boy four years ago. The man who police and relatives identified as Cuthbert Lambert, otherwise called Jerome, 27, who was shot dead in a reported drive-by shortly after 8 a.m., just as he dropped off his five-year-old stepdaughter at Christian Moravian Primary. Yes, an infant school. Well, here we go on, you know, peeps. Did the update, you know, four years of back, see me, you know, and did not know, say, you know. Yes, this man got charged for it. So, peeps, yes, sir. 14 year old Ricard Richard, otherwise called Deshaun Ashley, who was murdered four years ago. So, Cuthbert Lambert, the man shot dead on Friday, was charged with Ricardo's murder and was on. BL. Right, my people, see, look at the screen right now. Yes, man, this is 14 year old Ricardo Richards. Yes, peeps. I would just have said, Jano, you hear me? Serious thing. So, Ricardo Richards, also known as Dishan Ashley. But we just have said, peeps, this serious. Serious, serious. So, peeps, Dean, otherwise called Pop Shot, was shot and killed yesterday morning after 9 a.m. He's from the Lilliput St. James era. Right, my people? Yes, are you looking at the screen now? This is Pop Shot. You know, I don't know why I give him the name there, because they have a little thing where we usually fire when we are playing, when we look. Yeah, we build like gun, but we use pear seed, you know, and stuffy night. You know, we get like antenna, TV antenna, and pop off. Yeah, man. That's how we deal with it, man, and come for pop, pop. So we call it pop shot, so boy, I don't know what I want, but I saw it go. So rum shortage to extend into next year. 
has shouted off white overproof rum that has been gripping the nation in recent months is not expected to be alleviated until early next year. Right, my people? Good over evil. We could have to go down like weeble. So, peeps, international world order is under threat. Right? And this is a news from Sky News. You know, heads of M16. Yeah, and the CIA. Right, my people? Yeah, we don't know what's going on that side, but we just have to give you guys like how we get it. So, peeps, are that going on, what are going on? You don't know, we have to sound the alarm. Can't keep calm. We have to kick up a storm. But anyway, people, I am out without a doubt, doing enough talking, so get to the walking, up top the scene. And them for no side, your eye meds, representing for Just Blex. Just Blex tell them some prior words. When the heat ends, I try for you. Was he a dire hurt? The most I alert, if I'm them alone, them alone. Yeah, man, Just Blex, you don't know your success getting them upset, you know what I mean?